Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how Google Ads work for businesses. Now, I'm going to be going over how they work for service-based businesses more so than e-commerce, just because we specialize in service-based businesses. I'm very good at getting leads for them, so I'll talk more about that in this video than e-commerce. However, Google Ads can work wonders for e-commerce. I'm not saying it can't, I just don't specialize in it and I don't really feel comfortable about talking about it because it's kind of out of my lane. However, this is gonna be how Google Ads work for service-based businesses. Now, what are Google Ads and how do they work? Google Ads are essentially a whole bunch of different types of ads on Google Ads advertising system. And your ads are eligible to appear in a variety of places depending on what you set your account up for and what you actually have as a campaign. So if you wanna run search ads, which is the actual ad that pops up below when someone types in a specific keyword, you can do that. These ads are generally the most common ads that we find for service-based businesses. Most people kinda of wanna go after them because when someone types in a specific search term, so let's say it's HVAC company near me, fencing near me, pool installation near me, you have a pretty good idea that someone is looking for this specific service. And if we can put our ad in front of them, chances are we're going to have a much higher conversion rate than just a vague ad somewhere on the internet which is really what you're going to be doing with display ads, as you can see here. They don't have as much control over where we're going to be appearing. We can choose what websites we put it on, but having a conversion rate similar to search ads is just not realistic. Display ads are a lot cheaper than search ads. However, you just don't have the control you do with search ads. So that's generally the two ads I see for most service-based businesses, display ads, search ads, and there's a third one. Local service ads are pretty new to Google ads. Is a new type of ad created by Google to essentially allow service-based businesses to get clients and really give Google's AI all the leeway here to show your ad and where it wants to place. And as we can see here, I typed in HVAC company near me, and you can see all of our search ads here, as you can see ad next to it, and you can see our local service ads. Now the issue with local service ads is it doesn't really allow you to control what search terms you pop up for. You can give Google a vague understanding of where you wanna pop up for, but the actual search terms you have no control over. So I see a lot of companies having really poor results. So they'll get a whole bunch of leads. However, the lead quality is just not very good because because Google can determine what keywords you pop up for, and chances are you don't want to be popping up for HVAC DIY or HVAC companies hiring near me. But Google's AI might say, hey, that sounds like a great keyword. We'll show your ad for that, and if you get a lead, you have to pay us. So it's not always the best for every single company. Whereas with search ads, this again is where I think most service-based businesses should be. You really can control where you show your ads. You can pick exactly what keyword you want to show up for. If you want to show up for HVAC company near me, you can absolutely do so. But if you don't want to show up for a specific keyword, you can also put that into your negative keyword list and you're not going to show up for it. Now, what actually happens when you click on one of these ads is someone is sent to either your website or your landing page. And I normally recommend a landing page as they convert much higher than a website, meaning that for every 100 people, on a website, you're going to get much more conversions and leads out of a landing page. So generally you're looking at anywhere between a 20 and 40% conversion rate on a landing page. So 20 out of 40 people will convert out of a hundred. Whereas on a website, you're looking at anywhere from, I've seen less than 1% all the way up to 10%, but it really depends on your website and how it's designed for Google ads. So I much prefer a landing page, which is just a simple one page that shows people, okay, this is where you put your information or this is where you call us. Very simple, very easy to use. It's got some social proof, so it's got reviews. Whereas a website, there's it's very expansive. People can explore and it gives a lot of information. And the issue with that is if you give too much information, people get confused and they leave. What happens is cognitive overload occurs where your brain is just essentially taking in too much information. It causes stress inside the brain. They go, I'm done, I wanna leave and they'll just go find somewhere else that's simpler. So generally the overlying principle here is simplicity works for ads. You wanna make the buying journey as easy as possible for your customer. You wanna give them the information they want to make a decision and that's it. You don't wanna overkill them with all this information. So that's how search ads work. Service ads allow you to actually either call the business or enter in your information right away. They don't send you to a website. Display ads, these send you to a landing page or website you can pick. YouTube ads, same thing, website, a landing page, 
page. I think you can even set up lead capture via YouTube. I'm not exactly sure as of yet. YouTube's the exact same thing, website or landing page. Google shopping ads generally take you to a website where you can buy or purchase the product. So that's cool. Local service ads. Again, I'm just not a really big fan of local service ads because they're very, very limited. However, this is essentially how Google ads work for you. You put your message in front of people who are going on to Google looking for a specific service. You put your ad in front of them in hopes that they click on your ad and they purchase from you instead of the competition. And if done correctly, this can bring you a ton of high quality leads time and time again, because Google is the world's largest search engine. And there's a ton of people on Google every single day looking for your service. So it's really awesome if you can use it effectively. And that's the key word, being effective in Google Ads is a lot harder now because way back when there was just no competition on it. But now that everyone knows Google Ads works, there's a lot of competition, meaning cost per clicks are higher and really the competition is higher. So if you don't know what you're doing, more than likely you're gonna lose quite a bit of money. However, if you do know what you're doing, you're going to have a real edge up compared to your competition and have a real awesome advertising platform to invest in and get high quality clientele for years to come. So now a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking to build a call only campaign and get your phone ringing like it says here, you want a simple course that walks you through step by step on how to get leads into your business, high quality leads, sustainable leads, month after month, this is the course for you. It walks you through how to build the actual campaign, the theory behind the campaign and why it is better than your competition and the optimization process as well that really allows you to be above your competition. Where so many courses, they don't really go into depth on how the actual optimization process works and which really is the most important part of Google Ads. Yes, setting up your campaign is important, but optimizing it month over month and really being ahead of your competition and building out the super successful campaign, that comes in month two, three, four, as opposed to just the very first month. So this campaign is plug and play. It is super simple. Anyone can do it. it comes with headlines, comes with descriptions, and it really will allow you to build a super successful call only ads campaign to get your phone ringing for your business. So if you're interested in this course, the link is down below. Check it out. If you're, again, you're interested in getting your business phone ringing. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns on how Google ads work for businesses, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it. Also check out our discord server in the link down below. If you have any questions, you can always discuss it in our discord server. It's an awesome little community we have going and the people in it are absolutely fantastic. Now that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful day and take care.